Dr. Marshall Schaefer, Research Engineer. I'm Andrew Splatt, Applications Engineer. And I'm Bobby DeCourcy, Applications Engineer. Looking back to my first automotive visit, it was kind of cool to finally see this automotive staking like firsthand and production line. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting and, you know, overwhelming as I guess you would say that I don't know the answer to some of these questions and I feel like we can improve on this. Yeah, no, that's how it, that's how it all started too, right? Went on site to an automotive customer mm -hmm. and just see these massive lines with all these robots just going around to these door panels, right? And yeah, just, you know, riveting these points or automotive staking, ultrasonic staking, right? right? Um, all of these points with our equipment and it's the same thing. You go on site prepared and you think you know everything and you get asked questions and you go, that's a really great question. I don't, I don't know the answer to that right now. Yeah, and we found out that maybe the industry didn't have the answers to some of those either, at least not standardized. Mm -hmm. And so we saw a good opportunity while improving our own knowledge to also improve the industry as well and so we sought out to make a design which is now being patented um, to speed up the staking process and also improve the quality yeah the whole process was really cool I remember seeing pictures of you guys like drawn on on glass with expo markers oh, yeah. just designing everything mm -hmm. laying out the stages of the weld we so didn't it's... have a whiteboard so you know we had to use what we had <laughs> yeah. do. glass right yeah and we broke down the staking process in the stages and we tried to find what features on the design would lead to you know, the best way to do that stage. And, and we were thinking yep. a lot about speed because I think there's a lot of value there mm -hmm. to the customer, but of course you have to keep strength and the look of it in mind as well. We had what, seven designs and where did we get people from? You know, Everywhere in the company. I mean, there were sales, there was um, you know, just service as well, because service had a good part, and right. they were always in the field before us. So they had the same thoughts on exactly. this, right? So they had some thoughts as well, and design too. Tool design. design. Mm -hmm. And we even had management involved yeah. to have, have a broad perspective. So in those first seven designs or so, uh, we put them through some different testing and kind of looked mm -hmm. deeply at the different features and what they did, right? And then we kind of started crossing them off and knocking them out, right? Oh yeah, it's like a little sports bracket. It's kind of fun. Yeah, you got it. You had your aesthetics, right? And you had your like, you know, just kind of what we thought strength was, but it was nice to cross them off the list based off of some what we thought was good in the industry as well. Right. And then, of course, I mean, we're in our lab at first using our, our normal methods, but then we got to the point where we needed robots in order to do this at high speed because mm -hmm. we knew uh, the tool is going to get hotter. And, and that's why we, you know, fire the, uh, further fine tune the, the cooling sleeve that we had already made. And, um, moving up to production speeds, we found that it kept on working. And then we went to uh, an automotive factory, right? And uh, there we saw, well, what was our reduction there? Oh, you want to talk about the Ultrafax now? Oh, the Ultrafax, Ultrafax yes. it is. Yeah, so I mean, we saw like 25% reduced cycle time, which was pretty impressive. I mean, even the customer excitement was clearly present. I mean, they knew mm -hmm. they could knock out two of their eight robots, right? I mean, that's a lot of value added yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean. Even even not, you could always maintain the uh, maintain the quality or increase the quality within the same amount of time. That's true, right? You could just stake slower with the new design, and right. Yeah, we have a decreased energy consumption uh, that reduced time, and we were able to maintain strength and aesthetics throughout the entire process too. Yeah, that being said, you know, there's kind of nowhere to hide in the ultra stake. It, it's a five rib design, and they're all thin features. In a traditional stake, there's a lot of voids that can happen, and in this case, I think you kind of see what you get. Regarding that last testing that we did, it was at the same customer and at the same facility um, that we started this whole project at, mm -hmm. which was very cool and very interesting how we started and somewhat finished that session of the project at least there. Yeah. I mean, the whole journey has been a pursuit of excellence mm -hmm. in creating an engineered uh, application system. You know, it's not just uh, the staking, right? It's, it's the cooling sleeve, it's mm -hmm. the Sono, it's the motion that goes with it. And um, you know we've already made a 25% improvement from where we started. Mm -hmm. And I think that's huge. And we're gonna keep going. Yeah.